Okay, so I'm trying something new this year. I'm going to try to make a video for you guys um, at the beginning of each week. So this week, you'll want to start with, you got to click open two blocks. You want to do the start here. Um, here, I'm going to post the video that, not this video, but the video that I, um, that I made a minute ago introducing the class to you. So you'll see that there when you open this up. Um, and then this is the course overview. Um, this explains to you, I want you to read through what you're supposed to be able to do. So you have a sense of what you're going to be able to do upon leaving here. Um, we hope that you expand your cultural awareness of countries where Spanish is spoken, as well as you start to understand some of the fundamentals of the Spanish language, some of the beginning grammar and vocabulary. Um, I would like for you also to take time to look at the important class information in this, um, this little um, text tabs. It's the same information that's in your syllabus, so if um, the tabs happen to be an easier way for you to get to that information, just so you know that it's there, it just tells you um, my name, my email, my location, and my phone number, and again, like I said, this right here needs to be deleted, and I'll make sure to delete that um, before this site opens up to you guys. My office hours, and then this also explains to you how to use Skype in case you would prefer to communicate with me via Skype during office hours. This just tells you our beginning date, census, etc., how our grades are calculated, some information about tutoring, what you need for the class, um, and some of these links, um, these videos are also links on the main page. Um, and then the time requirements. So just remember that you need to be spending about four to five hours total a week, including the time you come in to see me on this class. And if you don't have that kind of time, that you should consider dropping the class and taking it when you do have that kind of time. Um, so that, so you'll look at that. Um, then you'll also want to open up January 9th and 15th. We're going to be studying greetings and farewells, the alphabet and numbers in Spanish. Um, this right here tells you um, it's, we're going to focus on greetings and farewells as well as alphabets and numbers. You should be able to greet and say goodbye to others in the target language. You should be able to recognize and recite your alphabet as well as know how to spell common words and phrases in Spanish. You should also be able to count up to 100 so to get started, these are the pages that you're going to want to look at in your text. All of your assignments are due by the 12th, um, and these address the outcomes one and two. I don't know if you guys can see the SLOs. Uh, yeah, you can see this SLO box. Um, and so it addresses SLO one and two. Okay. Um, okay. So then additionally, assignment one just wants me to know, I want to know that you've read your syllabus, so you need to make sure over here that you open one of these and you go through the syllabus, um, and then you post any questions or concerns you have about the syllabus or the class here. You just click on this. I've started a thread. Click on the thread, and then just hit reply and post any questions or concerns you have about your syllabus there. Um, and then assignment two, you'll need to watch all of my videos. Here are the videos. You'll need to make sure you open up each one of these. Um, when you click play, it's kind it's of small, but if you can either expand it to full screen or take it out to YouTube and you can see it bigger. Um, and if you need closed captioning, I am still working on getting closed captioning for every video, but I think most of these do have it, so you can click the co closed caption button if it doesn't automatically pop up. Um, and then once you've done that, you'll open up the class participation forum, you'll click here, and in this thread, you'll just tell me if you had any questions or concerns about the material that you saw in those videos. Okay. And then lastly, it says for assignment three, you need to do these activities in my language labs. You can click that button, take you to my language labs. Once you've set yourself up in my language labs, which is one of the first things you need to do, you'll just sign in. Okay, um, when you click on my language labs, you will find, it should say my class. I have a bunch of sections. I'm in charge of a lot of different things, so you won't have this many steps, but you will just open whatever class that you are in. 
and you will be should take you straight here then you go to the calendar and you'll click on the calendar and then you'll complete the assignments that were given make sure that they match the ones that were assigned here make sure that these you're doing all the ones here and I told you before that I also post some tutorials you can look at those tutorials but you do not have to and you just need to make sure that you complete those assignments so when you're you just click on them they should open up okay you just really quickly run through pick your answers do not do what I'm doing and then you just hit finish and submit for grading finish and then um, I'm going to get a bad score. Oh, I got a 40 just randomly doing it. You can see that it says try again. You can keep trying. And I think it's set up to where if you try so many times, it'll give you the right answer. And I also think that if you try a few times to get it wrong, it'll uh, there'll be um, links up here that'll take you to pages in the book that can help you with what with the assignment.